Maybe you don't know what you want. That's the reason why you keep ending up with shit. Maybe you don't know what you want. Maybe you're like, we just need to hire some more people. You do not need to hire more people. You don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with that payback. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Everybody's always like, dude, I want to go get this. People don't know what they want. You want to get rich? Human capital. You guys need people. People got to make these calls. People got to talk to people. You need people. We can fix all the technology, but until we fix people, we can use the old technology and get rich with better people. Am I right? Okay, cool. So the technology is a bonus. The technology is not going to make us rich. The technology is going to make it easier. It's going to make it more accurate. It's going to keep us from losing money that we were making. And then it'll help us scale and make money with the right people. So everybody, listen, this meeting in leadership today isn't going to be very long, but it's the truth. Does everybody got it wrote down who, who they want? Yeah. Okay, what did you write down? What kind of person do you want? I said uh, somebody who's hardworking, nicely dressed, high energy, clean eating, an honest person. Cool. What would you write? You're right. Honesty. Okay, but what, but what do these people look like? Are they like, do, listen, do they look at you in the eye when they talk to you? Do they shake people's hand? Do they tell the truth? What are these people after? What are their core values? Do they got a family? Do they have children? Are they younger? Are they 20 to 22 years old with no family? So they like have nothing in the way of giving everything they got? Or are they people that are 27 years old, they got a kid and they're in a relationship and you know that they got to take care of their family? What kind of person do you want, right? Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. I wanted to add uh, somebody that's 20 to 90, 99 years old in this business, somebody that has uh, good communication skills, and somebody that's a problem solver. That's it. Somebody who sees opportunity and not problems. Somebody who's ready to solve shit. By the way, can I ask you a question? You can't solve anyone else's problem if you can't solve your own problems. A lot of you in here, you're in charge of a lot of people or a couple people and you're trying to solve other people's shit, but you don't solve your own problems. You're not the leader. You're not the leader. You're the boss. And people work for a boss for a paycheck. I heard someone say right here that when, I think it was him, he goes, when everybody, it went down, we lost a lot of good people because they were making good money and they left. Guys, you know why those people left? Because we trained them to, for, for money. We trained them money. Hey, you come work for me. I'll make you good money. You want to make good money? You want to make good money? Come with me. Come with me. Don't ever train someone that way. If you want to become a good person, human excellence, you want to be a great person, you want to self-develop yourself, right? You want to become a person that other people look up to. You want to become a leader. If you want to become that, I want to invest in you so you can go very far with me. And a byproduct of becoming a great person in being with me in loyalty, which is something that I live for, I have to have loyalty. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 911. 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254, I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. If you're not going to be with me long term, big picture, no loyalty, I don't want you with me. I don't want to invest in you for six months. Guys, quit trying to bring people on part time for six months. No, tell them what you want. Your wife will tell you, I want you to do this, 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 this. If you do that, I'll do this. I promise you. That's what I want. We need to be direct. I want you to be here long term. I know selling solar doesn't sound attractive. It's not selling solar. You're with me. I'm going to self-develop you. I'm going to make you a great human being. We're going to work on human excellence. That's what I want with you. I want to do life with great people. And it just so happens that doing life with great people and being surrounded by great people, there's a job involved. And this job is a level 10 earning opportunity. And if we become great people, it'll pay a lot of money. Isn't that cool? Yeah, cool. Okay. Now... If things get tough, I will never bell on you. I will always be here with you. I will suffer with you. You got a problem? Bring it to me. I'll solve it with you. I swear to God, I'll never leave your side. I put it on my life. I swear. This is what the leader does. This is what the world's missing. You guys want to know how to build armies? Armies. Literally, offices of 500 to 1,000 people coming into work every day, ready for blood, sweat, and tears to go to war with the leader because they believe in the leader. And they know that the leader would never betray him. They know the leader would never talk shit on him. You look, people don't forget what you say about him. Every time you say something negative about somebody in your company, no matter what you think, it gets back to that person. Someone's telling. So what's the only thing we can do? Never say anything negative. Never. You must become what you want. You can't give your people what you're not. You guys in here, until everyone in this room changes, you need to start picking yourself apart. 
Okay, I live by double standards. I tell my people I want them to do this, but then I don't do that. By the way, maybe you don't know what you want. And that's the reason why you keep ending up with shit. Maybe you don't know what you want. Maybe you're like, we just need to hire some more people. You do not need to hire more people. We do not need bodies. We need people who believe how we believe. So how do we believe? We believe in human capital. We believe in people. We believe that we want to impact our people's lives even before the customers. We want happy customers, but if we can't change our own people's lives that work with us, how the hell are we going to change someone else's life when we're in their home? That's it. Like, dude, you want your people walking in homes and people can look into their eyes and connect souls with them and be like, this person's a good person. I like this guy. You want that? That all comes and gets stemmed from the leader. All of it gets stemmed from the leader. It's all from the leader. The leader needs to fucking wake up and teach people how to live, how to think, how to spend money, how to save, how to treat your wife, how to treat your kids. When you come to me, I will show you your wife or your girlfriend. You ever cheat on her? You're fired, dude. I'm out. You cheat on her, you'll cheat on me. Look, I want good people around me. Call your shots. Let your people know how they have to live. If you have the courage to do this, you will build a team no one else in this world has ever built, and you will get freaking rich. But if you're a coward and you can't tell people to their face what you want, but say, I will only tell it to you because I'll live it myself. By the way, Max, if I ever lie, if I ever lie, pack your shit and get out of here because I will never lie to you. I don't lie. Now, I'm going to make mistakes, and so are you but we're gonna work through them together. I'll never cheat, I'll never lie, and I'll never betray you, and I'll never leave your side. That's a promise. Mm. And when you start operating this way, all of a sudden people are like, dude, I like this. Mm. Hey, it's hard, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard. Like, I like that it's hard, but I, I believe you. And they can see in your eyes when you're telling the truth. Dude, your families want the same shit. Mm. The world's starving for leaders, your families are starving for leaders, the, the, the customers are starving for leaders, but our people that are going to build this business are starving for leaders. So human capital is the key. When you guys change, everything changes. So who do you want to attract? That person's name that you wrote down on that piece of paper, that, that's who you want? All right, now can you become it right now. Draw a line in the sand. Stop being a fraud. I want you to do me a favor. I want to know in here who has the courage to change. I want you to just think to yourself, do I have the courage to change? Like seriously, like, dude, can I ask you a question? Do you want your people in shape, yes or no? Like, I'm asking you a question. Do you want them sluggish and slow? Or do you want them in shape and shit, ready to move all day and make money? Tell me what you want. What do you want? You want them in shape? All right, are you in fucking shape? Come on, listen, are you in shape? No, 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 but see, but the deal is, is that if we wanted it, we would have it. Once you decide what you want, you don't waver on the line anymore. You're either a good man or you're a bad man. You're either good to your wife, you're bad to your wife. You either go to the gym or you don't, okay? You gotta decide, listen, right now I'm trying to tell you guys, whatever the hell that you're gonna ask anyone else to do, you better, you better before you tell them what you want, you better be really fucking careful. Now you got the decision to do one or two things right now. Number one, stay the same. Be like, dude, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. It's fine, stay over here. I'm looking for the leader in here who wants to run an office of a thousand motherfuckers that'll die for that individual without money involved. They do not care about money. Money is a bonus. They do not care. People want to do life with people. People want to feel a part of something. That's what the world wants right now. You know how I know that? I literally became an influencer by putting my, I didn't, well, you know, when you start a business, you got to market, right? Max, so I'm like, I got to get on social media because marketing is really expensive. Let me try to build a brand. Well, what happens is I put my message out there. We start generating a lot of leads. I start doing a lot of business. But then I got people DMing me every day. They go, dude, I love the way you live. I love the way you believe. I love that you how you tell the truth. Andy, I want to I wanna be in sales too. I also believe the same way you believe. Andy, can you help me find a good leader? Can you help me find a good company to work for? You think they give a f if they're working for a Frisbee company, a sales company, in, in real estate or solar or car sales? They don't give a shit. They don't care. You know what they want? They want the leader. They want the leader. You know how many people in here have had a shitty ass mom, a shitty ass dad, nobody ever caring them, nobody ever give a shit about them? This is our world right now. Everybody's fucking depressed. Everybody's got issues. This is why you guys got to wake up. You guys got to put your own motives behind you and be like, dude, I need to start being a fucking leader for people. And, and these people that are broken, which I was telling them, people that come from nothing can end up with the most. These people that are broken, I'm a broken person. I'm 
fucking really broken. I'm the most dangerous guy in the room because I'm broken. And if you show me loyalty, I will go through the end of the earth for you. And there's so many of you guys right now, you're looking for loyalty. Loyalty is built. You guys build your great team. You're not going to find them. You're not going to recruit them. You do not want another guy selling solar from another company. That is not what you're after. Dude, you go out there, you're like, I'm looking for somebody that sells solar. No, you don't. You want to look for somebody that believes the way you believe and you want to make them. Because selling solar is helping people help themselves. It's really easy. You guys need to build your army with the way you believe and then you can run with these people. And these people will work harder for you than anyone else that's ever worked for you in your life. And these two guys talked about brotherhood, sisterhood, family. Really? I know they're real, but really? Is that real? If somebody right now, I'm going to ask you a question. Like my team, just to let you know, my company, my team, I only got 100 people. So we're going to take any office in here. You got 100 people. I'm going to ask you a question. Do they have somebody that they live with? Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, somebody that they do, that they, they do life with? Yes or no? Once a month, I have them all in the office, all of them. Max, I go over with them. I say, all right, all of you, thank you for being here with me. I want you to know how important your husband and your wife is, how important your girlfriend and your boyfriend is to me in this company. I want you to know my job. Max, when, you're, when your wife comes to work with me, my number one goal is to make her a better per- person to come home for you and be a better woman for you. That's my number one goal, Max. Now, do I want her to make money? Do I understand that she has to make money at work? I totally understand that. But I want you to know the time she spends with me, if she cheated on you, I'd fire her. If she talks shit and she's negative, I'm going to check her. I promise you. Because I want her to go home and I want you to be proud of her and I want her to become a better woman when she's with me. That's my goal. That's my goal. I want everybody who works for me to become a better person. That's the deal. Is that what you guys want? That's what you must start demanding. Tell people when they come work for you, I will create you to be a great person, period. Now, there's a lot of money on the backside of you becoming this person. But I explain to their families what I want for them. Why? Because what happens in two months from now, Max, when she's out and some guy's like, oh man, she's amazing. Dude, I'll pay you three times more than you're making now. You ever had somebody leave for money or a different opportunity? Well, guess what? When people go home and they find out, hey, man, she's got a good opportunity. Max, you're going to be like, dude, are you kidding me? Andy, all he wants you to do is become a better person. And he's invested in you. He's made our life better. He takes care of us. And you're going to leave him for money? No. No, we're not in this for money. Now the whole family's bought in that it's not about money. And at the end of the day, is it about money? No, it's not about money. (laughs) No. That's the problem. Money is easy. Hey, listen to me. If I opened a solar company right now, I'm going to tell you what I would do. I'm just going to tell you, if I opened a solar company right now, I would literally show people the way that I live for about two months online. I'd have DMs every day that goes, dude, I love you. You changed my life. I like watching your stuff. I'd be like, you know what? You need to come work with me. I want you, man. You know what? You want to spend more time with me? Your job is to not be the boss. Your job is to be the mentor. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.